it's Gavin from Balls to You, and this is going to be a very short video, but an update on the Bang project here at the HQ. Now, the Bang has come under fire a lot from other breeders, other people, and I totally understand why, that they're basically saying it's OD. A few things I've got to get out there and off my chest. Aussie actually helped me get the original animals in from Sterling Nelson, and Aussie has seen my animals, uh, the five that we brought into the UK, and he can confirm 100% they are not OD or high OD. They are different. Now, Aussie's gonna come on and we're gonna have a discussion about some other bits and pieces. So if you're on the Patreon, you will get to see that discussion. And also, uh, we are gonna talk about the bang versus the OD. Because the one thing I wanna make things very clear about is I'm not comparing it to OD or high OD. I believe all three genes, including the bang, has its have their own place within the market. I love OD, I love high OD. I'm currently moving out some of my OD stuff to replace it for high OD, as I'm pretty much keeping most of the bang stuff. It just makes sense to sort of move the projects around and uh, yeah, just, just move some stuff out that I don't want to really want to work with and concentrate on what I do want to work with. However, because a lot of people are comparing it to high OD or to OD, I want to do some comparisons. This isn't in nowhere means to bash the OD or the high OD because I absolutely love their projects, uh, that project. But what I do want to do is just show you some, some differences. Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at a bang leopard versus a high OD leopard. Now, as you can see, Obviously, this one's a little bit older, but I'm gonna show you some key characteristics regardless of the age and the size. First things first, this is the high OD leopard. The leopard is such a strong dominant gene. You know, it really does take a lot to be pushed around. And this is a beautiful example. This is a posset pied uh, animal. I think it's a male and look at that belly, just absolutely awesome. And I love the high OD stuff, very powerful project, but this is a high OD leopard okay posset pied got a bit of a head stamp there you can see um, some orange coloration coming up from the belly which is typical of high od and od so yeah obviously i work with all three od high od and bang so i can tell you the differences and, and when you hatch stuff you just see okay so that's a high od leopard let's look at the bang leopard now these have obviously got a bit more size on than the last time but the bang gives you more of a yellow goldy look this one's about to escape let's just put him away gives you more of a golden look uh, yellowy gold and again the head stamp if you look on the bang leopard is very much more um, pronounced and what i've noticed with the bangs is the eye stripes uh, the eye stripes on the head if you look around the eye stripe the black the black is very black it very it stands out the black around the the head stripe really does stand out so here we have a leopard bang I hatched three of these beautiful animal very powerful um, can currently smell rodents which is probably not the best time to do a video when we've got rodents defrosting <laughs> but live dangerously um, but as you can see the animals are different just bring this one back very different in color you know the od and the the high od tends to give you more orange pigmentation very you know darker looking the bang gives you more yellows and golds and that gives you more of a brightness uh, which you could say that this animal would represent something like an od fire leopard okay uh, because fire and OD kind of have that interaction but as you can see this is just a straight bang leopard and this is a high OD leopard as well very different color palette very different animal and certainly not the same gene so I hope that helps guys hope it gives you some indication on what we're working with here at the HQ regarding the bang project remember if you are in the states and you are looking at uh, the Bang project itself, please hit Sterling Nelson up on his Morph Market for more um, help, um, you know, see what animals are available. I believe there is a Facebook group uh, on the Bang stuff 
but you know my feelings on Facebook. For now guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it gives you some indication what's going on here with the Bang Project. I will be doing some more videos like this, including the Leopard Bang Clown versus an OD Leopard Clown. And I will be revealing the Bang Red Stripe Clown on a video as well. So stay tuned for that. But for now guys, hope you're all well. Take care and I'll see you guys on the next one. I hit record a job, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming.